Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have this GTX Titan, uh, the old retired king during its time. So the problem with this card is it artifacts. So this card has been sent by a retail center uh, who said uh, that this was a there was a customer who uh, returned this card. Let's put this card on the bench and uh, let's check uh, if we have any memory errors. So I'm going to run mats. So uh, the card is already on the bench now and uh, let's run mats and see if uh, it fails. I'm sure it's going to fail uh, because the user said that uh, it artifacts and uh, the retail store has already put a sticker there. So let's boot the card up. It's uh, already taking a long time to show us any image. So I'm just waiting for it to show any image. Okay, finally we have an image. So that was approximately more than about uh, 30 seconds, I guess. I'm not counted, but uh, that was a long time. Okay, um, let's run mats. So the image that you're seeing right now is from the card itself. And it's not through the internal display. So I'm sure it's going to fail. So I'm just uh, wait and see which error or which memory module fails. Okay. So I'm going to open the auto run report. And there you go, we have error on F0. So F0 is at the front as well as at the back. So uh, I will run uh, NVMT. Let's switch to NVMT and let's see if uh, it gives us any indication. Now, normally, uh, there is really no concrete way to find out whether the card uh, or the memory at the front or the back is faulty but uh, you know sometime it does indicate but sometime it doesn't uh, let's open the report so the best way to find out is uh, through you know trial and errors So all this data is really useless to us, but let's scroll down. Okay, so I see uh, F0 and uh, this is the one, but it really doesn't show whether it's at the front or the, or the back. I feel the top is at the back, but uh, there's no uh, concrete way to, you know, to say, uh, there's there's nothing uh, that indicates that it's at the back or the front so i'll start off with the memory at the front i will have to remove the memory at the front replace it and test it if that doesn't work then i will go ahead and replace the memory at the back as well so let's switch this thing off and uh, we'll start off with uh, removing the memory Okay, so let's disassemble this card. So there are a ton of screws uh, that are there. So let's get them off one by one. So this is a pretty old card, um, you know, almost uh, over 10 years old. So what do you think about cards uh, you know which are over 10 years old do you think these these cards should be repaired uh, because for the price uh, that uh, you can buy this card i think you can buy pretty uh, powerful cards much more powerful than this one uh, you know for much cheaper uh, so do you do you feel that uh, the, these cards should be repaired 
or do you feel uh, you know these cards should be dumped and probably uh, you know switched to newer cards what do you think you know please leave your thoughts in the comment section you know let let me uh, you know know what you feel about these cards so titan gtx gtx titan a pretty old one There was a time, uh, you know, when this card was very powerful. But in, in today's day, where you need about 8 gigabytes, I, I don't think uh, this card really cuts it out now, at least now. Maybe a few years la earlier, uh, this card would have been a very uh, good card. So F0 is the one that uh, we are looking for to replace and uh, this, is the, this is the one. So let's turn on our preheater and start to remove uh, this memory. Let's take a look under the microscope first and let's see if there, are, there is any damage or any, any resistors missing. Uh, I don't think if there's any so it, this card uses SK Hynix let's take a look at the back okay I don't see anything missing everything looks to be okay because this car doesn't come with a back plate and it's very much possible that you know things can get knocked off but i don't see anything missing around around the memory module everything looks to be okay I'll have to check if I have stock for these memories. I think I do. I just may have to dig it up. Okay, so uh, let's turn on the preheater and let's proceed to remove this memory uh, from this uh, card. Okay, so the memory has been replaced. Uh, let's go ahead and check resistance. It's still hot, so I'll just wait for it to cool a little bit. Okay, so the card has cooled down. Uh, let's measure the resistance.
and we don't have a shot so we are good to go i can put this card on the bench and uh, run mats again so I'll, I'll run mats i'll put this on the bench and run mats and uh, see if our uh, test passes booting into a mats drive and by the looks of it the way it's taking you know long time to boot up indicates that it's going to fail again so it's just doing the same thing like earlier but anyway i will uh, you know boot into the drive and run the test Okay, so it's running the test now. I'm certain it's going to fail again. So probably it's the memory at the back uh, that is faulty. But uh, let's take a look. Okay, so the numbers have changed for F0, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing off and, uh, you know, get the memory out from the back as well. Okay, so uh, this is the next memory that I'm going to attempt to remove. Uh, so this is F0 at the back. So I'm going to switch over to the microscope. Okay, so uh, the memory has been replaced and the card has cooled down. So I'm going to measure the resistance and check if the resistance is okay. Measuring resistance now. And we have...
we have about uh, 39 40 ohms so which is good enough so i'm going to put this card on the bench and uh, uh, run maths again So the card is on the bench. Let's uh, boot it up. Okay, we have picture and that was quick. So I assume that uh, maths is going to pass this time. Okay, if, if you recollect earlier, it used to take a long time to show us the, uh, the, the bar screen or the, bar, the splash screen. Uh, but this time it was really quick. So um, there you go. It's running maths. Let's wait for the result. There you go. It's a pass. So let's switch this thing off and I'll assemble the card. Okay, so the card has uh, been assembled. I'm going to uh, install the card on the bench and boot into Windows. So let's take a look at the drivers. And our drivers have installed successfully. Let's run a couple of, uh, or I'll just run Fermat for this card. Okay, looks like everything is okay. There's nothing blank in any of the columns there. Let's run the stress test. Okay, so far uh, the card is running smoothly. I don't see any artifacts. The temperature is rising gradually, but uh, since this is a Titan and the design, the way it's designed, it's very limited. So you won't see uh, really lower temperatures, but the temperatures will be around 80. And that's normal for this card. Okay, so uh, the temperature looks to be stable. And the hotspot uh, is also within the delta, so uh, it's limited by design. Okay, so uh, that's it for this uh, repair. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. I do make sure that I reply to all comments. So thank you for watching. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.